Hello, I'm Ron Clark. I want to talk today about infinity, the concept of infinity, and what that will do to your mind, sort of grappling with the idea of infinity. Now, the easiest way for us to grapple with the idea of infinity is to think of a physical infinity, a Malkuthian infinity, if you will. Uh, the infinity of uh, our existence, our physical existence. So, infinity exists on every level, especially at a mental level. <clears throat> we can conceive of it, therefore it exists on a mental level. An astral level, uh, we have the uh, astral ether that Barden speaks of, which is infinite in nature. Um, and significance is infinite. It's an infinite variety of significance. The question is whether or not it exists on a physical level, and that's always been a question. It's a question we can't answer either way. Um, there's lots of evidence that it, physical reality, the physical universe, is infinite. Um, and I like to believe it is, especially considering that it is mentally uh, a reality and astrally a reality, so it makes sense that it is also physical reality. So, we will just assume that it is, the universe is infinite, physically infinite. Which means, now, I take you on a little mental journey here. Uh, sort of a meditation, a guided meditation sort of thing. Um, you stand at the middle of an infinite space. Space time extends in every direction from you infinitely. There is no end. So, you're standing here in an infinite space. You are at the exact center of that infinite space. I mean, you, you must be, because it extends equally in every direction, infinitely, from you, which means center point of that infinite space is where you are right now. But that's true of every point within that infinite space is at the exact center of that infinite space. Because it's all extending infinitely in every direction from every point within the infinite space. Okay? So every point within an infinite space is the center of that infinite space. This is something that every point has in common with every other point within that infinite space. Everywhere, everything is at the center of that infinite space. We all exist within the center of an infinite space. Something we all have in common is we're the center of infinity. <laughs> you know, that's not just an ego trip. You know, it's not just some psychological flaw. That's reality. Now, Infinite is not only external, it's also internal. And in other words, it's not just infinitely, infinitely large, it's also infinitely small. It must be. It must become infinitely small. It must never be able to reach its smallest particle. Infinitely small 
is within the infinitely infinite. And the two go hand in hand. And, you know, that infinitely small point is also everywhere within the infinitely infinite. The infinitely small point, the infinitely finite point, is the exact center of the infinitely infinite space. And we all occupy that infinitely finite space. That's within each one of us, which is direct connection with the infinitely infinite space. No matter which direction we go, we never meet an end. Both directions are infinite, the inward and the outward is infinite. <clears throat> now, what size are we in that continuum, that infinite continuum from the infinitely finite to the infinitely infinite? Now we have this conception that we are this big, right? But there's all this stuff around us which is that small. I mean, if we get a microscope on it, you know, it gets even smaller and smaller and smaller. And, you know, a, a microscopic image of practically any surface of anything looks like the Grand Canyon if you go in close enough. So... What size are we within that infinity, within that continuum of infinity? We get to choose. That's the nice thing about consciousness, awareness. It can be any part of that infinity we want. We can encompass the whole infinity or we can shrink our awareness down into that infinitely finite part of infinity. We can be infinitely finite or infinitely all large with our awareness. Awareness is one of those things. It's sort of interdimensional because there's more dimensions to infinity than just this linear um, sort of measurement of infinity. We can have an infinity of idea, an infinity of thought. I like to take it to the uh, Kabbalistic tree of life. And, you know, here we're talking about this sort of spatial infinity. This is the infinity of Malkuth. You know, then there's, well, this, the infinity of Kether. The infinity of awareness. Now stick your mind on that for a minute. Focus on the I. The I that unites all of awareness. That contains within itself all of awareness. The I is infinite. And our awareness can be infinitely infinite or infinitely finite. We can come back down to my I, my connection with the I, I Ron. You know, that's infinitely finite. They're all exactly the same I. Just how much of the I are we containing? And at the level at which we encompass the infinitely infinite within our awareness. It just is. You know, it, it, it has no conception of itself being infinitely anything. It just simply is. But it contains within itself 
all these other infinities. It contains within itself the physical infinity that we were talking about in the beginning. So, infinity can exist within another dimension of infinity. So we have infinities within infinities. And that's really what the Kabbalistic tree, this cosmology that the tree of life is expressing. Each sephirah being a different dimensional infinity in and of itself. This is especially noticeable at the, the, the central pillar, the pillar of equilibrium. So we have Malkuth, this physical infinity. Then we have Yesod, the astral infinity. This infinity of emotion, of significance, of a quality of interactions. This is infinite. And then a Tiferet. We have this infinity of individualized awarenesses, which is truly infinite in its variety. <clears throat> And then Kether, this infinity of awareness itself. Then we have in Chokmah, <clears throat> this infinity of meaning, of essential meaning, is infinite. And wow, you know, each of these infinities obeys the, the, the basic rules that we learned with the physical infinity of infinitely infinite and infinitely finite. All of which are connected, all of which are one, really. You can reach the infinitely infinite through the infinitely finite and vice versa. And in Bina, we have the infinity of form, infinite variety and nature of forms that then translate into the infinite variety of individualized self-awareness. And then in Gajula, the infinite variety of connectedness, that infinite, infinite continuum of a likeness. And in Gebura, that infinite variety of uniqueness. And then in Yesa, that infinite variety of significance. And in Yesa, I mean, Netza, <laughs> that infinite variety of emotions, of vibration. And then in Chod, that infinite variety of the intellect. And again in Malkuth, that narrow, infinite spatial variety. So, that's infinity. <laughs> what else is there? Uh, I can't think of anything else to say at the moment about infinity. Uh, you know, it's, it's such a rich ground for meditation and for experiencing, you know, the uh, astral ether, you know, expand yourself to that infinity in the depth point, you know, expand yourself to that infinity, that infinite space and learn what it means to have control over your size in relation to infinity, you know, play with that. Meditate on that. So, till next time, bye-bye.